daily basis. So that's mistake number two. We don't think it's necessary because we don't see the functionality of it. It's 100% functional when you start to use those muscles throughout the week. Mistake number three is similar to number two is that we do the leg press exercise, which is number three on the A-line. We perform that leg exercise, that hip and leg exercise, thinking that it might also be unnecessary because I'm doing a lot of leg activities in my life. I walk a lot, I do stairs, maybe I'm recreating with other activities like biking or jogging or whatever it might be, and I'm curious whether or not I need to bother with this exercise. Maybe you're even getting 10,000 steps a day in your Apple Watch or your biosensor is tracking that data for you and say, wow, I got 10,000 steps, great. I don't need to bother with leg press. I'm already using my legs. Well, that's the whole point, guys. You're using your legs. You're not training them. There is a huge difference between them. The function of muscles is to contract and allow our skeleton to generate movement. And so without muscles, we would never be able to move. So when you go out for a walk, muscles are contracting. Yes, they're shortening, they're lengthening, and I am moving, I'm moving through space. There's locomotion there. Same thing for stairs, jumping, jogging, whatever it might be. Again, there's countless activities where the muscles are used, but strength training is about training the muscles. It's completely different. You can lose muscle, get weaker, lose function when you're using your muscles. You might be a walker and you might walk five miles every day and you've done that for years, you're gonna do it for years. That will not prevent the loss of muscle as you're aging. You will get weaker even though you're walking. So we wanna separate out the